everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block, and you guys demanded a transfer update from me, and you're getting one. Here we go, guys. So after about a month of rampant speculation, Liverpool have officially signed midfielder Joe Allen away from Swansea City for a fee believed to be around the 15 million pound range. Transfer negotiations uh, sort of came to a T in recent days because Joe Allen's uh, Team GB was kicked out of the Olympics, so he can now focus on getting this transfer through. He apparently submitted a written transfer request yesterday. He was also spotted at Anfield watching the boys take on Gomel, and indeed later that night on Twitter, he confirmed that he was about to undergo a medical with Liverpool and he would be joining them in uh, the next couple days. Joe Allen is only 22 years old and last season was his first season in the Premiership and all of a sudden he's worth 15 million pounds, which is a big shock to many people. But I always say, let the owners and the accountants worry about the actual transfer fee and let the fans and the manager and the backroom staff worry about the players themselves. Brendan Rodgers obviously came from Swansea and if Joe Allen is the one guy he needed to have from his previous squad to make this new system at Liverpool work, I say let's get him. I don't really care what the fee is. Um, I'm more concerned with what the wage cost will be. Because if you actually look at this 15 million pound deal, depending on his wage package, this could actually end up being a bargain for Liverpool. If you look at the transfer fee through debt or amortization, which is dividing the fee by the number of contract years they have, Liverpool um, should Joe Allen signed for a five-year contract on that 15 million pound fee would only be costing them really three million pounds a season. And if you estimate that Joe Allen gets about a 30,000 pound a week wage package, that's about 4.5 million pounds a season that Joe Allen is costing Liverpool compared to Alberto Wakalani, who his 17 million pound fee divided by the five-year contract and then you add in the 80,000 pound per week package that he was on, he was costing Liverpool about 7.5 million pounds a season. So right there you have Aquilani going out, saving Liverpool 7.5 million pounds a season, but you have Joe Allen coming in costing them 4.5 million pounds a season. They're both midfielders, although they're not playing the exact same position, um, I believe the comparison is still fair. Now where Joe Allen would fit into the squad, I believe he will sort of take on that passer role that I discussed in my previous uh, video yesterday. He and Jordan Henderson will be competing directly for that same spot, and they'll both get their chances. We have Europa League, league, um, Carling Cup, whatever the hell it's going to be named this year, the FA Cup and the league. There are tons and tons of games to be played. Uh, squad rotation will be important. Both those guys will get their chance to cement themselves in starting 11. It's also tricky to sort of compare Henderson to Joe Allen because people want to place uh, Joe Allen suddenly ahead of Henderson based on their stats from last season, their advanced metrics, their advanced passing stats, and that's kind of hard to do because if you look at it, Henderson played out of position on the right for much of last year, and then when he played as sort of a recycler when Lucas went down, uh, Joe Allen played in the system of his choice and had his passing stats kind of inflated by the system Brendan Rodgers had in place at Swansea City. So it's very tricky to look at the stats of Henderson and Allen because I, both, I believe they're both skewered a little bit by the systems they were played in. Um, I think this year we'll see a true reflection of each value. So those are my thoughts on Joe Allen. Um, I welcome the signing. If this is the guy that Rodgers wanted, I'm happy we got him. Now so far in the transfer window, we've seen Aquilani leave, we've seen Dirkout leave, we've seen Maxi leave, and now we've seen Bellamy leave for Cardiff City today. But I believe with every out, there is an in for Liverpool. Do not worry, there's still plenty of time left in the transfer window. Brendan Rodgers will bring the necessary players we need. With those players going out, I still think another midfielder and about two more attackers are needed. And that a couple players Liverpool have been linked to were Kevin Granero from PSG, somebody who's out of favor at PSG because uh, Levesi's come in and Ibrahimovic has come in. Granero isn't nearly the first choice striker that he is rated as um, on PSG. I think he could be a player that Liverpool will bring in. We're also linked to La Atletico Madrid's uh, Diogo Godin, who apparently Liverpool scouted throughout last season. His price tag is believed to be nine million pounds. And again, Liverpool are continuously linked with Clint Dempsey for ten million pounds. But um, as the days go on, the deal seems less and less likely. I'm still confident it will happen, though. And Gaston Ramirez is another player that Liverpool are hotly linked with. I think he would do very well as a winger for, winger for Liverpool. We all watched him uh, play with Uruguay in the Olympics, and he's exactly the kind of def uh, attacker that Liverpool needs. He can be a defender with the drop of, hat, of a hat, has great free kicks, um, has any technical ability, and some pace to boot. So those are a few of the attack players I believe Liverpool have a shot to bring in. If you know any other rumors or any other players Liverpool should target, let me know. So that's all for today with JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block. Give me your thoughts on the transfers down below, on the Joe Allen transfer, what you think of Daniel Agger, and any of the other transfer rumors. Hit the comment section down below, guys.